welcome back to my channel. This week is Halloween and I am so, so excited to create this look. So I actually did this look on myself about three years ago and I've kind of recreated it slightly different with a model called India. And if you follow me on Instagram, you can see that I work with her quite a lot. So um, if you want to see how I recreated this, please keep watching. So first of all, I'm gonna go straight in with this look by taping the face and I know a lot of you um, have seen me do it on my Instagram. I mean, we've done it loads, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, we do it, I think. I think we do it. like a bit of tape. I think uh, we do it on every shoot we do, pretty much. And this is how it's gonna give a lift. And obviously, because we're going for that botched makeup look, it's just gonna help to the fake face. <laughs> I like my eyebrows looking like a Disney villain. <laughs> Love. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take the tape. Mm -hmm. Wait, sorry. So we get on this side. Does it feel nice? Does it feel weird? Yeah, it feels like a free time. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do, um, India, if you just hold the stickers for me when I pull it, and then at the back you can see that this it clips into here, and at the back of the face I'm just going to go on the second one, attach it at the back, and that stays like this, and then we're good to go. Also for this look I'm going to be applying this beautiful blonde wig. So I've applied the blonde wig and now I'm just going to tie it back just with a little clip just to make the bandage a little easier and I'm just going to be using this bandage from Boots and we're just going to be applying it around the head, so underneath and all around and this is going to really help to cover the hairline so obviously you make this hair look a little bit more real and realistic. I'm now taking a bandage. <laughs> That's just me being like. <laughs> and I just added a bandage and I just wrapped it around the head and around the neck. And this was something I just bought from Boots. I think it was like £1.50. But in a minute, in a little bit later, we're just going to add a little bit of blood and that's just going to help um, add to the look. So I'm going to start this look by starting with the eyes. So I'm going to uh, brush up India's beautiful eyebrows. I'm obsessed. You have the best brows in the world. Thank you. Um, so I'm just using the Clear Brow Gel by Bobby Brown. You get told it all the time, yeah. Yeah, and I would say, when tashes are in for women, I'll have a fantastic tash as well. <laughs> <laughs> to fill in the brows, I'm going in with my favorite, favorite palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, you would have seen me use this a lot. And I'm just using a slanted brush by MAC. And I'm just filling in any gaps, just to elongate them slightly just so they're nice and even. To prep the eyes, I'm gonna be using the Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base by NARS. And I'm just gonna be applying that all over the lid. And then I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna be applying this all over India's eye. And this is gonna be used as a base, take away any discoloration, and also act as a base for our eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna be buffing that all over. So the first item I'm going to go in with is the Dusty Rose by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So what I'm going to do is just like a really quick, like purpley smoky eye, just so the eyes look a little bit bruised. So it looks like you've just come out of surgery. <laughs> so I'm just going to be buffing this into the socket. I'm going to do it on both eyes. And with this, guys, you don't have to be too precise because I don't want to look like it's like perfect makeup um, um, like application on the eyes. I mean, fundamentally, we are trying to create like a little bit of like a glam, bruised eye. These colours actually look really nice because your eyes are just so blue. <laughs> the next eyeshadow I'm going to be using is the Aubergine, and that's by Anastasia Beverly Hills also. And I'm just going to be buffing that in circular motions in the corner just to create a little bit of depth and that slightly beaten, beaten up look. <laughs> Next I'm going to take a larger blending brush um, and I'm just going to go over the darker shade and just add a little bit more and I'm just going to wing it out slightly. Just so we're getting that really like fun bruised effect and I'm going in with a slightly smaller um, buffing brush now. I'm just going to be adding a little bit of darkness in the corner. Just so it's starting to look a bit botched. 
like I said, we don't want it like this perfect purple smoky eye. We do just want to keep it a little bit arty. I'm going back in with the shade Aubergine and I'm just taking it underneath the eyes. And then with my blending brush, I'm going to buff that out underneath. For eyeliner, I'm just going to be using my favourite Inglot um, Black Gel Liner. And I'm just going to be applying that on the top and creating a really nice feline flick. So next I'm just going to use my NARS Climax Mascara and I'm just going to put a little bit on before applying a few individual false lashes. India's got the most... You curled yours this morning with a hair drying curler, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we obviously don't need to curl them. So I'm just going to be using my favourite individual lashes. Oh, we're going to be using that a little bit later. Uh, I'm just going to go in with some medium, look down for me. And I'm just going to apply a few just in the corners. I'm not going to do a really heavy lash today. I just want to bring them out slightly over for me. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to add it down for me. There. I do love an individual lash. I can't do them. They're very hard to do on yourself, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I've tried to do them myself, but I'm just so rubbish. I think they're a lot easier to do on other people, I'm not going to lie. Ooh. So I've done about four medium ones. I'm going to be doing the same on the other side. For foundation, I'm just going to be using my Studio Fix. So I've mixed um, NW30 with NW20, and I'm going to be buffing that all over India's skin. Um, the reason I've used Studio Fix, obviously, as it is Halloween, I do think you want quite a good coverage because you want it to last all night. Also, we're going to be putting blood and everything on top of it. So if I am um, a little bit of aesthetics, um, so obviously, if you. Um, if you do something like a tinted moisturiser, everything's just going to move a little bit. So I did prime the skin before we started and I use the Laura Mercier tinted, um, tinted Hydrating Primer, which I love. For concealer, I'm just going to be using my Shape Tape. I'm just going to be going under the eyes. I'm going to go a little heavier with the coverage, like I said, on the skin, just because we are going to be applying um, eyeshadow and products on top of it so I just want it all to stay and I just want something for the products and everything to stick to. So I'm going to be applying it underneath the eyes and also bring it down to the chin. To set the foundation concealer I'm going to be taking my Huda Beauty translucent powder and I'm going to um, be just like patting it on top I'm going to be using a little more than usual for the same reasons I said earlier because we are going to be working on top of this as a base. So I'm going to go back in with the um, shade Aubergine by Anastasia Beverly Hills um, and with my 217 I'm going to just bring the eyeshadow down. Basically I'm going to be going under the eye socket so just creating that kind of like tired beaten up feel you can just like buff it in and you can go as dark or as light as you want with this but I just want to create and this just adds a little bit more scariness you want to look don't you <laughs> <laughs> there's a mirror there so she's like okay so I'm also going to do that on the same on the other side and also a little trick is I'm just going to go around the nose because in a minute, we're going to make it super, super, I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say super brutal. We're going to make it super. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going to make it super. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now going to go in with the contour powder from Rodeal. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to be contouring the nose. I basically want the nose to look fake. So I'm going to make it look super skinny. So I'm going to use the contour powder just with a t uh, clean 217 at the side. And we're just going to make it real skinny. So I'm just going to be using my cream contour by Huda Beauty. I'm going to be contouring the nose a little bit to make it look a little bit skinny. Just so it looks fake basically. And now I'm going to be using the contour as well. This 
on the um, cheekbones. You can use a little bit more than usual, just so we get that really harshness and the cheekbones really come out. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of powder on the side of the nose to really make it look super skinny. Next to the contour, as you can see. And then we're just going to buff that powder out. Obviously keeping the illusion that we've got a really skinny nose. So next to this bit, I'm going to be using my Ben Y liquid latex, and I'm also going to be using tissue paper that I have just literally ripped up. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit here. So just to demonstrate what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing it all around the face. I can just show you to begin with. So I'm going to be doing a small line. I'll do a little bit here. Do it a start at the top. So I'm just going to apply that with the brush. That's part of it. And I'm going to be taking my tissue paper. Uh, just like tissue. And I'm going to just be placing it over the liquid latex. So basically the liquid latex acts as like a glue. And the reason I put tissue paper on it is to give it a little bit of texture. So when we put the blood on, it looks like it's all just been cut up and ripped. And I'm going to be doing this all around the face. And the real important thing is just to keep it a little bit even. Obviously where the hairline is, I haven't really gone under the hairline, but I think I, it just shows that it's underneath the bandages, which I think we're just gonna look quite cool later when um, we add the blood. But right now, it's trial and error, honey. <laughs> so add a little bit of the li liquid latex. Um, I think the pieces of tissue are kind of like this, and I'm literally just sticking it on. I like it. It's kind of like if you have a spot, you could just like put that. Oh my god, it. I know. This is a perfect look for anyone. His skin's not great. Just cover it up. <laughs> just put some cover it on, on it. Yeah. Fab. Whilst that dries, I'm going to be going in with my lipstick, and I'm mega drawing over these lips. Over drawing over, over drawing. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Prom Night, which is one of their new matte lipsticks, which I'm obsessed with. They're super pigmented and they go on really easy and they just feel nice, they don't feel super dry. Next I'm going to be taking the blood. I'm just going to use an arty, kind of like an art brush. And I'm going to go over all of that tissue making some bits a little bit darker than others. Ooh, oh, 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 I got blood on your arm. Tiny little bit of blood on your nose. And obviously you can take the blood over to the bandage if you want. So it looks a little bit more realistic. In a minute, I might be adding a little bit more, like little droplets. But at the moment, I just want to get rid of all the white tissue. So I'm just gonna go from underneath and I'm gonna come down. And then for the lips, I'm just going to take a flat brush. I've dunked the um, brush in um, in the blood, and I'm going to be going around the lips where we slightly overdrawn it. To make them look bloody and look like they've just been botched. <laughs> For all the arrows, I'm going to be using my trusted tattoo um, eyeliner by Kat Von D. And guys, you can do these arrows whatever you want. I'm just going to be improvising a little bit. I've just got a little bit of blood on the face. <laughs> <laughs> so let's buff that out a little bit. Fab. So I'm going to do the three lines. And then I'm going to do this. 
I'm just gonna add a few final touches. So I've just done a little bit of a drip there and I just wanna do another one on this side. Obviously where you choose to put the blood is totally up to you, but I just kind of want it to like organically drip down a little bit. And I'm also gonna add a little bit around the neck. Obviously because when I'm taking photos, you're gonna see it. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger and just make it I just don't want the band looking too clean, but at the moment I'm literally just improvising. You guys can do whatever you want with this. I've just made it look like it's bleeding a little bit from there. And then maybe just do a little bit of the side of the mouth. Just so it doesn't look too, too perfect. And then I'm gonna go back in with the eyeshadow. Just open your, open your mouth a little bit for me. And I'm just going to be running the dark eyeshadow in the center of the mouth. And these are just like extra touches. So it looks a little bit scary and a little less glam. Just a bit of final touches. I'm just gonna be adding some blood to the hands. So it looks like she's real botched. <laughs> Got and my then, fingers done too. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be giving you a syringe. And there we have the botched Halloween look.